if you want to follow our cruising route, pause now. Don't forget to subscribe as well. These are the pub moorings here. Little walk up the steps and you fall into the pub. Or I should say, coming down you fall out the pub. I think that makes more sense. <laughs> This little stretch as we go through to Burton Tunnel can get quite tight on occasions, no doubt at all. Certainly makes a change having warm and still weather. Got to make the most of it at the moment very very changeable the weather quite a few times here boats have flew round the corner but uh, hopefully we're all right here I've pressed the on I've used the klaxon it should be okay Excellent. Oh well, yes, light going on in a minute. I'll sound the horn in a minute, yes. can just see the other end here so you know if anybody's coming through if you can't if you can't see yeah yeah definitely don't go in if you can't see through to the other end <laughs> that means somebody's coming onward, onward yes We've covered this in significant detail in our, uh, well, in a previous video of ours, so we won't do we won't do too much now. It's going to be a good long day. This I have a feeling. I have a real good feeling. I'm just doing a, tu a tunnel roof inspection here. It's going along. Just coming into view is the little um, sign what gives you the time scales. The green area, that's our 20 minute window on the hour. It's exactly on the hour now. Nobody should be coming through. And there's five boats going to, well, four more besides us who are coming through now.
This tunnel was closed for nearly four years. Uh, in 1981, it had a major collapse. And that won't be frightening you. Well, they've done it now, haven't they? And it, it's all right. And it was opened again in uh, spring of April. I think it was April or spring 1984. I've got to be honest, this is one of my favourite tunnels because I like the twists and turns in it. I think it's great. Like I said, we've done an in-depth um, vlog and I'll put it in the description of these three tunnels, what we're going through. Burton, Saltersford and Preston Brook in previous vlogs. So we'll just do the minimum here. If you look ahead, you can hardly see the other end at the moment. We do quite a twist shortly. It's quite clear there now. We turn to the right quite sharp. then back to the left yes I just love this tunnel absolutely There's not many moorings along this stretch where we are on the Trent and Mersey as we make our way back to the Bridgewater. I think it's obvious enough when you look to the left hand side there on the towpath. No chance of getting in. But the actual uh, scenery around here is brilliant. And it's just totally enjoyable. If you don't enjoy this, you don't enjoy boating. That's what I think. Definitely. Just being down the hatch. Not down the hatch as in having a drink. <laughs> I've just been down the hatch on the boat at the back. We had some wire, I don't know what it was, and it took us a while to cut it off and, and get it out. But it got me thinking, plenty of boaters have to clear the, the hatch at the back, and some are so nonchalant about it. And I've even, you know, I've seen people jumping into the canals and getting under the back of the, the uh, where the propeller is and that and it's just sheer stupidity because there is a big risk from something called wheels disease now a few years ago a guy actually died after he did that after he went into the canal and did some work he got you know it grabbed him very quickly and he died a horrible death and it just amazes me how casual people are about it canals are very dirty you know and wheels disease comes from rats you know, all, all the uh, droppings and, and urine, what they uh, deposit into the canals. So you've got to be careful. And anybody who boats, just make yourself aware when you're doing it. Even your hands going down there. If you've got cuts or grazes, it can get it. So I've just been down and I have these things. 
my long gloves and I always put them on because I know it's a safety thing and I can still do my work happy enough cleaning it all out and all that but I'm not taking a risk and that's just something to wear for yourself if you get um, the likes of Earthy Air coming out when you're a member of them and they have to go in the water they have proper waterproof uh, clothing what they put on like a diver's diver's equipment and they go up go in with that so at the end of the day don't be silly and take that chance just think of your your own safety and, and that's it really but uh, it's common sense just hope that many boats out there have the common sense Holiday season's now in full swing. Black Prince, they've only got one boat in currently. So they've got plenty out, that's for certain. These are extremely popular moorings, very hard to get, particularly uh, in the busy season. They have a fine view into the valley below. That's why they're so popular. Hey. Somewhere up Liv Leeds, Liverpool, depending what the weather's like. <laughs> All right, see you, ta -ra. Very soon now we'll be coming up to a, a six inch stop block, very unusual shape. And after that, we'll be back to Prestonbrook Tunnel. There's a little channel there. If you get there on the hour at the southern end, which is the way we'll be going in on our journey along to the Bridgewater, we have that 10 minute window. So for example, 12 o'clock till 12.10. Any time outside that, we have to wait. So if we just miss it, get the kettle on, get a beer or a glass of wine and a snack and we'll wait for up to 45, 46 minutes if we have to do. The important thing is we can still just relax, take our time and don't feel we've got like we've got a schedule. Bit of a queue forming now to get through Preston Brute Tunnel, but at least we've made it in the uh, the time scales, so we'll go through here wait a few minutes and we'll be off quite a few going through we've had the usual thwack from somebody who didn't know how to uh, steer the boat <laughs> didn't know how to stop yeah yeah bang oh I'm sorry I started laughing <laughs> oh well Another little repair job being done later. A 
think there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six of us going in now in this one. Earlier in the season, nobody. Hey, five past one. Also, they came through late. Cool, dear me. Could have been worse, we could have met him in the tunnel. It does make me laugh about people, they bump into boats and that. There's too many, far too many people say it's a contact sport. Well, it, it can be but it doesn't have to be, if you've got any common sense. Amazes me. So, for everybody out there boating, it's not a contact sport. Programmes on the telly have said it is. I mean, we are watched, well, we're not now. We watched something on one of the TV channels. Not only did they get the title wrong, unbelievable, they're not birds, you're for narrow boats. And it, it was like almost fun to smash into boats and things. Mm. That's a definite no no. Anyway, we only watched a bit and said, that's not for us. got to be honest that felt a lot longer getting through and it was definitely a lot noisier <laughs> anyway all three tunnels done and dusted and we'll carry on our way now welcome to the Bridgewater Canal see you next time Ta -ra! <laughs>